Hey guys, as always, could you do? Welcome back to Applebee's. Table for two, please. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna ask you a question. Where do you get your news? But I also wanna make three points and then I'm gonna get you right out of here. I'm gonna burn through this one pretty quickly today. I'm gonna tell you the genesis of how I came to ask this today, but I think all of it matters. And I hope you agree with me, but let me know. I wanna have a conversation on this one. So buckle up, here we go. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by The Mute. Wanna make your range time quieter? Well, here is The Mute, available in 22, nine or 5.56. Five, Thread options that'll fit anything you throw at it, reduce noise and decrease blowback. Check it all out over at the hyphen mute dot. You know what it is. Thanks to those folks and to you as well. Thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all have been crushing that as always. I'm filming this Monday evening. So all day today, I've been interacting with y'all about what went on over the weekend. Had two kind of barn burners over the weekend. A lot of folks having a lot of opinions and I've really, truly enjoyed it. So thank you for all that interaction. If you missed what went on this weekend, it was a little bit of a wild time. Again, I'm going to burn through this fairly quickly. I'm going to tell you how I got to this point, then I've got three points for you, and then a question for you at the end. And again, again, I do think all of this matters. So last week, I went with the network, the Warrior Poet Network, and we went to Chattanooga and filmed some man on the street. Hi, I'm Johnny. Talk to me. This is awkward. It was a lot of fun, a little awkward a little bit, but I asked a lot of questions about the child sniffer and kind of current events. That's all for the Dr. Appalachia show. If y'all, Some of y'all have seen that. It's a lot of fun. So while I was filming for them, there was a large number of folks, and I mean a huge number, I would say, hey, what about what went on in Colorado? What about the child sniffer? And you put the microphone at them, and these people all agreed to be on. It wasn't like I was like, you know, shocking people like that dude on the street. Name a woman, name a woman. What's his name? I forget, but he's funny. It was, they, they agreed to be on. Hey, you want to you come talk to me? Sure. All right, we fired up the cameras. Here we go. So I wasn't rude. But when I asked those questions, so many people, and I mean a ton, backed up and said, oh, I don't watch the news. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I don't keep up with what's going on because I don't watch the news. Oh, I don't read the newspaper or read news blogs. I don't read news websites. I don't know what's going on. And a week later, I'm still stirring on that in my brain. And I told the Patreon folks this over the weekend that I think it is telling of where we are as a society today. I believe that the news folks, and it took them 50 years or 100 years maybe to convince us of this, is that the only way to be connected, to know what's going on, to have an opinion on our current culture is to watch the news. That you've got to go through them and they're the only gateway. It is so deeply ingrained in us, we think, hey, if I didn't get this from, I'm going to date myself, but I don't care at this point, Dan Rather, Cronkite. Tom Brokaw, if I don't get my information from those folks, then I don't know what's going on. Now, younger people today, they don't follow that. 40 to 70% somewhere in there get 100% of their news from social media. But as far as folks today, the working adults, we're still stuck in that mindset. If I don't follow the news, I don't know what's going on. So I want to make three points. But I think, again, that the word I'm going to use is telling We've been convinced of it, that we have to go through them. And who are them? They're a propaganda machine. Their job is to sell, it was to sell newspaper ads, but currently it's to sell ads on websites and click-throughs and all that stuff and to sell ads in, you know, in paper, but also television commercials. That's their job. Their job isn't to keep you informed and for the weather guy to tell you to bring your pets in every time that it's 12 degrees outside. Bring your pets in, y'all. Thanks, bro. Three points. Number one, I believe we need to hit our culture where they're at. So number one, we need to be wise to our culture. So I wanted to stop and go, this is how people think. When you're out there talking to your friends, talking to your coworkers, talking to your neighbors about our issues, remember most people, I think this, most people do hold the news very, very highly. And I think it's good to keep that in mind that these folks, you can't just go, well, all mainstream media is propaganda even though it is. That'll offend people. Hit people where they're at. Meet people where they are at. This is how we reach people. We got to meet them where they're at. Number two, knowledge is power. 
oh, I wrote that a few minutes ago when I was working on the script, and I thought, that sounds like some cheesy poster in a high school summer. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. It is. I like the word power. It's the ability to make things happen. When you're knowledgeable, you can make things happen. And I think we need to remind ourselves of that. Yeah, the media's corrupt, but we still need to know what's going on. And that's number three, stay informed. That knowledge is power. How do we get that knowledge? Well, stay informed. This seems like a simple, like a simple video. I almost didn't record it today because it was so basic, but I don't think it is. I think people really do look at the news and the mainstream media as the primary source. And I do think it is imperative for us to stay well informed of what's going on. My question today for all of y'all is where do you get your news? Where do you get your news and your information from? I get a lot of mine from a lot of different places. I always feel like this. I haven't turned the TV on for news in like a decade, literally. But for big events, I always feel like if it's important, somebody will tell me. Like that really is the truth. And people say, you don't watch the weather? Ah, if we have snow coming, somebody will talk about it. And I do. I always end up finding out pretty quickly if something happens. I find out really, really quickly. I use Reddit a lot. I've talked about that before. And I use a bunch of different places that I get my information from. But I'm out there all day, every day, absorbing info. I use a lot of new media, a lot of social media. That's where I'm at. Where do you get yours? I think it's important to know where folks get their information. What do you think about all that? I've been stirring on it. It really bugged me in a lot of ways and also was, again, third time telling what I experienced last week. What I'm experiencing right now is a whole bunch of freedom in my hand, the 30-round clipazine to anyone that's against us or our freedom to have whatever knowledge we want from my cold, dead hands. Bye.